Hi, Jeff here with Mr. Hardwater. You know, maintaining these types of windows and the sliders that are low to the ground, near all the plants and near all the sprinklers, has been difficult and challenging. But as you know, we have a great polishing system that enables you to polish off all the hardwater stains. But what about after you polish them off? Well, a very important part of the process is to apply a glass sealer to this type of glass because it's very susceptible to having the hard water come back. And if you don't have a treatment on the glass, the calcium and the minerals and the other stuff is really going to sit right on that glass surface that you just polished out. And instead, it should be sitting on a Teflon-like coating like our new Mr. Hardwater Protective Sealant. Now, this sealant's been specially formulated to be very durable and to be very easy to apply and very forgiving in that you can really apply this material to a lot of different types of surfaces. Not only just your glass, but you can put it on the vinyl framing, metal framing, and uh, fiberglass, plastic, etc. But the durability on glass is outstanding. It's really the best product in its class in terms of uh, performance and ease of use. So today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is, it is to use the new Mr. Hardwater Protective Sealant. Now most of you will probably be professional window cleaners and if not window cleaners you're probably uh, maintenance guys or homeowners trying to protect the amount of money that you have invested in this glass. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to apply it to the surface. Now the easiest approach is really simply just to uh, pour a little bit onto a microfiber towel and just uh, apply it to the glass this way in slow circular motions, probably doing a couple different coats to make sure that you don't miss any spots. And then what you would do is let it dry for a few minutes, three to five minutes is recommended, and then you'd come back with a damp towel or your strip washer um, your window cleaning equipment and you would just rinse off the excess haze um, with a wet towel or the wet uh, strip washer. However, for the professionals or for people that need to do a larger surface such as the bottom part of this window or even the entire thing, the most effective way to apply the material is simply to pour the liquid into a Tupperware bowl and then to use our specially designed foam sealer applicator. So for example, here's the bowl, plastic bowl we're going to use here's the protective sealant and what I'm going to do is pour a little bit of material into the bowl and then I'm going to spread it onto the glass, let it dry and then buff it out. So if you're wondering how far the material goes, generally speaking about two ounces will cover about 20 square feet and that's especially the case with this material. Um, the application rates are really good. So first of all I poured a little bit of material in there. I'm going to kneel down and I'm going to get our uh, foam applicator. Now you'll notice that the foam applicator is essentially a styrofoam block. On the top part styrofoam so it's lightweight, easy to use. The bottom side is a specially designed absorbent foam and the key thing here is that it's absorbent. The absorbent material is going to be able to uh, lift up and absorb the sealer from the bowl and then we're going to be able to apply it to the glass. One thing you want to remember on using these sealer applicators is after you use them you want to rinse them out well with water Otherwise, uh, the sealant material will probably just erode it away and you won't get as much use out of it. So I'm going to apply the material right now. One of the things you'll notice is when you pop the, uh, the top off of the sealer applicator bottle, it's going to smell like nail polish. And the reason for that is they choose that compound because that material um, dries very quickly and doesn't leave a residue. So that nail polish like compound provides the carrier that carries the sealer onto the glass and then once the carrier dries, you leave the sealer onto the glass. So it's a great way to apply um, the sealant material. So here I'm going to absorb some of the material, and now I'm simply going to use our foam applicator to spread it onto the glass. And you can see how quickly this material spreads and how easy it is to spread a large surface such as this slider down here. You'll notice too that it starts to bead up a little bit at the top. So what you can do is just bring your sealer applicator back over it and move some of that sealant material down lower where you didn't, uh, where you weren't able to cover the first time. So I'm going to dip it again and get the back part of this window into the corner real well, and we should be good to go. You'll notice that this material dries really quick, and that's because of the uh, carrier compound. It makes it ideal for spreading the sealer. 
you can buff it in a little bit, get it smooth and even. Uh, this is a polymer coating, it's not a wax, so you don't need to go over and over and over again. The most important thing is to make sure that it's an even, thin coat on the glass. Now all I need to do is, now that it's covered the glass, and I've used just a little bit, is simply just to let it dry. You know, give it three to five minutes to set up, and then we'll be ready to just uh, buff the window. So what I'm going to do now is, since I don't have my window cleaning gear, I don't have my strip washer, which I would generally just dip into my bucket and just rinse this stuff off. Instead I'm going to do it just the slower way with just a, uh, a bottle of water. I'll spray the glass down and you can see that the water immediately builds up which is due to the uh, Teflon like characteristic of the Mr. Hardware protective sealant. So once I do that I'm going to take a damp towel and damply and with the water now I can really remove the excess uh, haze on the glass. So that's really all you need to do to apply this. And again, if you had your professional window cleaning tools, you could rinse this a lot quicker. And then you could even just apply a squeegee behind it. Got a small one here. You could just uh, get it wet and then just kind of work this, the excess haze off. And now you've got a really good sealed window. Now a lot of people ask me about the durability of these type of sealers. And the answer on the durability and performance of these sealers is really going to depend largely on the condition of the windows in. So for example, one of the things that really determines uh, the lifetime of this material is how much direct sunlight it's getting and how hot the temperature is and how much uh, abrasion it's going to get. The most important factor for degrading the performance on the sealer is really the abrasion. If you came back now with some steel wool or a soft, uh, or not a soft cloth, but a uh, a strong pad or, or some powder that's abrasive, you know, and you started scrubbing this, well what's going to happen is you're going to kind of wear down the seal that you just put on. The other factors are the sun and the heat, but in general with this protective sealer you're going to get months and months and months of uh, protection on a window like this and it's not uncommon um, even in these uh, hot conditions out here to get a good six months maybe more. But because it's so easy to apply, you can always just apply it as needed if it's degrading more quickly than you think. So in a nutshell, um, that's how you apply um, the Mr. Hardwater Protective Sealant to large panes of glass such as these sliders, and large windows, residential windows, and commercial windows.